In this video, I want to share with you how to solve two equations using Kramer's rule. Okay, let's say you have these two equations in complex numbers. So put this in matrix form. So here is 2 plus J10 minus J10. Here is minus J10. For this one, minus J10 here, then 4 plus J8, close bracket, times I1 and I2 equals to 10 minus 45, and then minus J10, close bracket. Okay, now let's name these numbers by A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay, the first step is to get the determinant. So look at this, A, B, C, D. So you cross this A, D and minus this cross B, C. So it means that for determinant equals to A, D minus B, C. So now let's calculate determinant. Make sure your calculator mode 2 for complex number. So first is A, so bracket 2 plus J10 is 10, I is here, ENG, and close bracket. Open bracket for D, 4 plus 8I plus minus bc b is minus 10i also for c is 10i you can use this power of 2 so equals to 28 so this is 28 for real part for imaginary part is shift equals so you get this plus j56 Let's find determinant for I1. Okay, because this I1 relates with this AC, so you must replace this EF at this AC. So replace here E and this is F. So you can imagine here ED minus BF. Or I simply use this cross from here ED and minus this BF. So for determinant for I1 is ED minus BF. Okay, let's calculate this. ED is bracket 10 and then angle is shift minus here 45. Close open D is 4 plus 8I plus minus B is minus 10i and F is minus 10i also so power of 2 here that equals to 184.85 and then check the imaginary part is plus j 28.28 okay now let's calculate the value of i1 because your calculator now we have the value of determinant i1 so the i1 is determinant i1 over determinant so just use this value divide by determinant so bracket the minimum you get before is 28 and then plus 56i close bracket then equals to 1.72 because this is current so you change the form to polar so shift plus equals so you get this 
magnitude of 2.98 or 2.99 and then the angle is minus 44.7 so this is the value of I1. Okay, for the last one, let's calculate the determinant of I2. Okay, because this I2 relates with this BD, so you must replace this EF at this BD. Okay, I just imagine from here, can okay, I use this, cross this, AF, and minus this, EC. So, determinant for I2 is AF minus EC. Okay, let's calculate this. A bracket 2 plus 10 I. Close open. F is minus 10. So, 10 I. Close minus E ten shift minus you got angle minus forty five and then C is minus ten I so close bracket equal so you got for this determinant I two is one seven zero point seven Remember to check this image report, shift equals. So you get this plus J50.7. Okay, now let's get the value of I2 is determinant of I2 over determinant. So you already have this value. So this the divide by determinant. Bracket twenty eight plus fifty six I so equals to this and change this to polar so shift plus equal the magnitude is two point eight four angle shift equal so this is forty six point Nine. So that's all for using this Kremel's rule.